Big Daddy here. And today, we're going to take another look at an awesome KVE app, K-Runner. So let's get started. So K-Runner is a powerful um, program that's built into KDE that is can be considered like a Synapse or a Albert where it, is, it pulls up programs, it finds files, it searches your system. Um, but it has got way more functionality than that. And let's, let's take a quick look at it. So the, the default way to bring up KRunner is Alt-F2. I don't use Alt-F2. I usually use Control and Space because that makes it easier on me to bring it up. But either way you bring it up, you have a little settings box. And when you bring this up, you will, let's open this up a little bit more, you'll see that you have tons and tons of options, not for settings of customization, but tons of options to enable or disable of what you want it to search through. So by default, it's set to be enabled for everything. And you can click this and clear your history on KRunner. But it, right now, it's set to go through activities. So any activities, if you use activities, I don't. It will search through them for whatever you're looking for it will search through applications. So when you pull it up and you want to, sorry, if you pull it up and you want Firefox, uh, it will search and find Firefox. It will also search audio files. Um, it will also search videos, images, folders, bookmarks, and documents. So again, here is your applications here. It shows you that now you can tell it not to search through audio files, but I don't know why you would. You can search, it'll search through bookmarks and this includes your bookmarks in your browsers like Firefox, in Chromium, Chrome, whatever browser you're using, it will find those because it's actually searching your system and those are on your system. It can do calculator functions. Um, so if you really wanna know what four plus four is, it will tell you that it's eight, just in case you didn't know. Um, it will do command line, it will execute commands. So um, if you wanted to, uh, let's see if a command line we can execute without shutting down the system and wrecking the video. Um, well, we'll go back to the kill all plasma shell. Now this is a command that I have set. If you look at the bottom of the screen at the dock, I have the green icon there. That is my shortcut to create this command and execute it. And what this does is it shuts down plasma and restarts it. Now we're going to do that and it's going to kill all of plasma and then it's going to restart it. So if you're into changing themes around, and I don't know who would be into changing themes all the time. I can't think of anybody, but if you know somebody that changes themes a lot, you can use this to see how everything's applied. If, you're, if your K-Win is crashing or if your um, system, like there's been one or once or twice that uh, my panel has gone completely black. Um, you can use this command to restart Plasma. Awesome feature. That's all I got to say. Um, you can control your audio player from here. So I don't know why you would, but it's there if you want to. So when you, when you hit the word play, um, you can start playing from multiple media players that you have installed on your system. Okay. Now, if you have, I think it's default works best with Amarok because that's usually the default player that's installed with KDE. So I think it has more functionality with Amarok, but it does work with these other players. Now, like I said, I don't know who was going to, who's going to use that, but it's there if you need it. Hey, options are good. 
Um, you can do date and time, although you probably already know the date. Uh, if you type in date, it'll say today's date is Thursday, January 5th, 2017. Um, if you would do time, you could do current time is 6.01 Eastern. Now, I wonder if you can do, like, there you go, time CST, and it'll tell you it's 5.01 Central Time Zone. So, nice feature. Uh, desktop switching. So, you can do new session, and it'll allow you to log in right from here for a new session. And you can, let's continue on down. You can define words. So let's say we want to define Linux. And, and there, now like I said, you have to have a the default dictionary installed for KDE to actually click this and open it up. Um, in Intergos, I don't have a dictionary installed, I don't believe. And it does really nothing, so the command goes nowhere. And I think there is a K dictionary. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that 100%, but it is there. And I would think that it would probably work better in something like uh, a Linux Mint KDE or a KDE Neon. You can search through folders, obviously. You can search for images. And these are here. I mean, obviously, it's going to search through images or folders. But say you didn't want it to search through specific things like audio files. You didn't want it to search through... Uh, video files. You could uncheck these so that it doesn't. Uh, the Plasma desktop shell, that is also included in what I just did with the terminate Plasma and restart it. Power options. Um, you have like say you want to suspend the, suspend the computer. You can suspend the RAM right from here. Uh, recent documents because it remembers what you type. So if I start typing in the kill all plasma shell command it already is there because I've typed it in before so if there is a time where you type the command in wrong and you don't want to see it anymore you can come in here and clear it and it will clear the history so that it won't be there but that's a that is a absolutely nice feature um, system settings you can open up specific areas of system settings for what you're looking for if you know the actual module like when you go into system settings every one of these is an actual module like the look and feel mo is a module that you would open up um, window management is an actual option task switcher all of these are individually made so if you knew every, if you knew the commands to open them up or a specific one that you needed you could enter that from here and basically have it quickly instead of going through the system settings you can terminate applications. So let's open up SysGuard and we will kill K okay, SysGuard. Bam, it's gone. Now, that may not seem really useful when you can just hit the close button, but if it's acting up and it's freezing on you, that's when it becomes valuable. Um, you have a unit converter, although I'm not exactly sure how to use that. So I'm not even going to go there. Uh, web shortcuts, but that's for Conqueror, Widgets, and Windows. So those are some of the options that you have in KRun. It's very, very powerful thing to use. Uh, and one thing I did find out, which I didn't realize, is when you have Windows open, or if you don't have any Windows open, and you click on the desktop, if your focus is on the desktop, if your mouse focus is on the desktop, all you have to do is start typing. You don't have to actually hit the shortcut command. And I don't know if this was a new feature added that I never realized, or but I just never thought about it, never found it until today, actually. So the things you find out when you go searching. So if you don't want to use the shortcut command, like I said, all you have to do, if you're focused on the desktop, is start typing and it'll pull it up. Now, it doesn't work if you're obviously focused on a window, but that also is a nice feature. So those are what I know about KRunner. If there's anything that you know about KRunner that would help people, post it down in the comments. And if there's something that you use, what command do you use in KRunner most?
leave it in the comments and we'll look at it and maybe everybody can learn from it so that's all I got for K Runner but until the next video Big Daddy out